take our middle finger okay. and we're going to put You're giving it... me the finger? No, no, of okay. course not, no. <laughs> Meet Taco, a Tennessee walker, one of 30 horses right here at Big M Stables. How has your family had to transition to work with you on this journey? Um, they've been very, like, super supportive. That's a good shot outside on I-77 by Clanton Road and see what's happening with traffic. It seems to be flowing nicely. Let's go to our mapping system. We do have an accident reported prior to Clanton Road at exit 7. South Tron Street is a great alternate route. You would never guess what's up these stairs in this old house built in the 1920s. Let me show you. I would say the thing that makes the, the bird's nest unique is we're the most laid back building in all of Davidson. Nestled on Main Street in Davidson is the bird's nest. There's nothing in the news about us. There's nothing shown uh, really other than a tiny sign out front. We're gonna take our middle finger okay. and we're going to put You're giving it... me the finger? No, no, of okay. course not, no. <laughs> oh, Music yeah, lovers gonna... have visited this hidden treasure for years. So how do people learn about the bird's nest? Everything is word of mouth. See? Oh, exactly. Yeah. It might be yeah, interesting to know okay. that this business is one of two record stores of this type in the entire state with a huge collection for music lovers. We've gotten everything from uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller to Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. Best place to go for music. Sarah, a student from Community School of Davidson, says she and her fellow students made their version of beautiful music right here. It was awesome. There were a bunch of records, just a place to jam out. The, the building, I don't know, it reeks of a, um, a musical vibe. So I'm told vinyl records have a better sound than CD. So whether you're looking for rock, alternative, jazz, or your favorite R&B music, such as the Jackson 5, their greatest hits, Ronnie Laws, or the Commodores, you can find it here at the Bird's Nest on Main Street in Davidson. Sounds of Inspiration, Streets 1033, 100.5 FM. Good afternoon, I'm Tanya Rivens. Prosecutors say they do not plan to seek the death penalty for a man accused of murdering a three-year-old. Police found the body of Jordan DeMont in Gaston County this week. Her mother's boyfriend, William McCullen, is charged in her death. Detectives are still investigating if Jordan's mom or anyone else had a part in the killing. A lot of questions remain about two missing teenagers as investigators find a body while looking for their missing co-worker. Sandy Lee, Alex Castillo, and Amia Feaster suddenly disappeared about a week ago. Yesterday, officials say human remains were found in the woods in Cabarrus County, but have not confirmed if the body found is that of Sandy Lee. You can get the very latest news, weather, and traffic anytime. Just go to WBTV.com. Thanks for watching this WBTV news update on Bounce. Now here's a look at your seven-day forecast.